Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone First of all, uh, let me introduce myself first My name is Fanny Bilamaya Putri My student number is 180-110-301-0069 So in this video presentation I would like to present you about my journal research that is about the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on financial distress across industries so in this slide, in this uh, PowerPoint, uh, there are uh, three points that I would like to explain to you. So first is introduction. So for the research objective, in this uh, research, uh, I would like to predict which firm would face a financial distress among industries uh, during 2019 to 2020 due to a COVID-19 uh, disaster. And for the research urgency and motivation, the motivation is to find and prove there is a financial distress that occur across industry due to the impact of COVID-19. And for the state of the art, uh, there are many small businesses and individuals that uh, suffer of financial distress that uh, we can found many uh, in Indonesia. And also in travel business sector, for example, and entertainment place, and etc. They uh, really uh, get the big impact for uh, the uh, effect that uh, that effect from uh, COVID nineteen uh, pandemic. And for the research gap uh, in this uh, research, uh, we can see many uh, sample of non manufacturing companies limited and too many uh, manufacturing companies reference. So it's very difficult to find non manufacturing companies uh, journal research like that. Next is literature review. Uh, so for the literature review, we can see in here uh, there are a diagram that I made. Uh, that I made. So in here we can see financial distress is from total 2012, and in uh, and we use Altman Daisy score for the uh, analyst that we use, and for uh, and we have to use a financial ratio, and in the financial ratio. There are a profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, and leverage ratio. And for the uh, financial distress itself, it, uh, the definition itself is a, is a bankruptcy condition where the company no longer able to repay their obligation. And for the Altman Z-score, is a, a bankruptcy risk prediction model uh, that is a motive a variable equation used by Altman in order to predict the bankruptcy rate of a company and for the financial ratio uh, there is a research on financial distress generally use financial uh, indicators to predict the condition of company in the future so we have a uh, profitability ratio, liquidity ratio and leverage and for the uh, profitability ratio is a ratio to assess the company's ability to seek profit or profit in a certain period Profit is one indicator of how well the company is performing and for the liquidity ratio itself is a ratio used to measure how liquid a company. A company can be said to be liquid if the company is able to settle its short-term obligation at maturity and for the leverage ratio is a leverage shows a influence of investment rates and investment in opportunities in companies where the level of debt form uh, from a company will indirectly affect investors' interest and confidence in investing. And next is uh, the last one is a research method. So for the method uh, we use is quantitative research with a secondary secondary uh, secondary data. For the sample in the study is data from manufacturing companies and non-manufacturing companies or across industry during 2019 to COVID-19. Uh, to COVID-19 pandemic, precisely in the third quarter of 2012 from F2020 for the nine month uh, period ended September 30, 2020. Uh, 20. This is the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic that has brought in uh, Indonesia. For the analysis, uh, we use a multiple linear regression and we use Altman Z-score with a refer to profitability, liquidity, and leverage ratios and sampling we use a purposive a sampling that a technique with a certain uh, consideration. So that's all for me. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'm sorry if there is a mistake in it.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.